Hello and welcome. In this episode, I'm going to show you how we can leverage Power Automate to public task in Microsoft Planner from an Excel file, which is resonant in wonderful business dynamically. So let's get started. I am currently in the make.powerautomate.com and for now, I do not have any flows. Now, before we start building our flows, I'm going to come to this Excel file, which is named task for planner excel file now in column a we have the list of tasks we have the description we have the task assignee the email and the progress and this excel file is officially formatted as an excel table using a control l that works with excel on the web now when i come to the table design contextual ribbon tab i can see to the far left task underscore table as the meaningful table name now this excel file is resident in my onedrive directory library of my onedrive for business and we can see that in it now before we come to the power automate start building our flows i'm going to come to the planner.cloud.microsoft and then we want to start building our plans so for this i'm going to click on my plans and i can click on create a new plan i want to choose the basic and i'm going to call this one any name that i want to use i'm going to call this one business task plan and i can click on add to pin plan so i can see that here on the left hand side and click on create so this is now created and then we can see this default to do now i'm going to click on add a new bucket and i'm going to call this one business task and once i'm done i can press enter to commit so we have the bucket now we do not want to add all those tasks individually or manually we want to automate this process using a series of activities and actions so before i go on i'm going to come to this share and i want to share this with two members of my tenants so i can type in the second name and then click on create group so we can say invite members and once this is done we can go on and start building our power ultimate flow so nice job you created a new group and then click on this cancel so this is ready now i'm going to come to the make your power automate and then we can click on this new flow and they want to create an instant cloud flow so i'm going to call this one um, business underscore task again you can use whatever name you like and then for our trigger to trigger the flow i'm going to come down here and look for the for a selected row in excel online for business and click on create and then we can see the power automate canvas coming up so once this is up i can switch to the old canvas which is a little bit easier and you know nice easy to understand and then we can see for a selected row action and then i'm going to choose the location where my data is actually stored i'm going to choose the one drive for business and then for the document library this is the one drive and i can see that a one drive and then for the name file i'm going to click on this and I want to go to the planner folder and then click on this fly out and I can see the task for Excel or for planner which is an Excel file and as I've mentioned the name of our table is task underscore table so I can come back here and then select the table name and there we go so this is done now I'm going to choose the add and input now I want to add the text so I just want to add um, enter or name let me just call this one name and then we can just provide and um, enter your name here and this is going to be you know required um, step and then I want to add another input step now I want to add the due date so I'm going to call this one task due date and this should be entered so that we can know when this task is due and i'm going to just modify this and call this one and please enter the dates and once this is done i can go ahead and add another step now i want to create a task step so that's going to be under action i can type in create a task and we can see that under the planner so i'm going to choose this preview and we need to provide the group id the plan id title and so on and so forth now for the group id i'm going to click on this drop down and don't forget this should be business task plan and click on this and we can see a um, business um, task plan and then for the plan id i'm going to click on this and this should be business task plan also and then for the title now we won't actually add the task as the title so i'm going to come back here and then click on this and then i can use dynamic content and i can search for the title or the task so click on that and this should be in a formatted open and close bracket click on that and then for the name of our bucket i can see which is business underscore task as what we have here which is cool now we can add the start date time now this is going to be a current time that this 
um, task is added. So for that, I'm going to use an expression, use the UTC now function, and then I can click on OK. And then for the deal date, of course, we've done that in the for a selected row here. So I can come here and set for task deal date, click on that. And we want to come to the assigned user IDs. Now we want to assign the task simultaneously to two people. So I'm going to come here and I can just copy this email and go to the formula bar, select the whole thing from here, control C and come back here and I'm going to paste it. Now I'm going to get rid of the forward slash and separate the names with the semicolon, which is the right convention. And I want to make sure we do not have leading and trailing spaces. And then I can assign a color to the label. So let's I want to choose the blue color. I'm going to just choose the blue color. And once we've done that, I can scroll down. And then we can add another task, which is the update task. So click on add a new step. And then I'm going to set for update um, task. So we can see that here. So I'm going to click on tax details. So I can click on that. And then for the task ID, now this is going to be the ID of the create a task that we have at the top. So click on this and we should be able to see that. Now in this case, I do not see any item, no problems. Click on the enter custom value and I can see the dynamic content. I can search for the ID here of this created task and select. And then I can come to the description. Now we have the description um, column. So come back here. I can search for the description and there we go. And I can also, you know, add, let's say, uh, the progress. So I'm going to come here and add the come to this that content progress formatted and that's all we need to do. So I can go on and save this um, flow and you can see your flow is ready to go. We recommend you test it. That's fine. So I'm going to come to the data. Now I would have loved to see the data in Excel on the desktop. So I'm going to click on edit open in desktop and we can just go ahead and you know do it more intuitively so for now i have that open now i'm going to come to the home tab and then go to the add addings and then i can click on the more addings that is if you don't have the power automate already added to the list of your tools so after this i can set for the addings and then just add it so i'm going to set for power automate and then i can see that i click on that and just go ahead and click on open and this will open on the right hand side and if you're doing this for the first time you are required to sign using your entry id but i've done that before i can see i'm signed in already and i can see this is telling me i can sign out so i can see the name of my flow which is absolutely cool now i want to add this very first task which is prepare financial statements and we can see the description and i'm going to click on the play button and then i can see the signing excel online planner and this are giving you know green check marks so this is validated accurately click continue and i can just type in the name of the person adding this and i can choose the task due date and let's choose uh, maybe on the um, 2nd of april 2025 click on the run flow your flow run successfully started and click on done and let's check it out i'm going to come here and i can go into this my task and then click on refresh and let's see what happens amazing so we can see prepare financial statement and you can see the description and you can see what we had in here not started so i can you know just leave it as you know not started and i can come here and check it out in the my flows and i can open the business task and i can say the succeeded at the bottom as the status and i can come back here i can add the second i can just you know select any of the cell within the row and then click on this and i can you know type in the name and then we can select the due date and let's say this is going to be on the fifth click on the run flow done when i come back here i can refresh this url i should see the second succeeded in a matter of seconds and once this succeeded i can go you can see there we go come here i can get rid of these and refresh and then we should see the second um, task amazing reconcile bank account and then we can see the um, assignees um, Enoch and Zoe and then we can see the bucket where this is this task is going to we can see the start date the due date we can see you know priority and so on and so forth so this is how we can use Power Automate to load tasks into Planner in Microsoft 
in the next video, I'm going to show us how we can read data from Planner into Microsoft Power BI for further analysis. See you then. Bye for now.